Now, I know what you're thinking. I should be making a Bochi finale reaction video right now today. But, but, Demon Slayer dropped. I gotta check it out. Even though I said I wouldn't be doing seasonal weekly anime reaction videos so soon right away. But I'm back on my bullshit. Tengen Uzui arc. So good. So good. We're going to the Sportsman's Village. Let's see what happens today's episode. Oh, shit. Right after the team hug. Man, I can't believe everybody made it out alive. That, that was some crazy shit. That was actually some crazy shit. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. First time in a century, I think. I'm not sure what's the record is. 100 years. And then a bunch of fucking Chunin ninjas. They're not... I'm saying like even Demon Slayer rankings, you know. Tanjiro and their friends. Just, it's a good omen. But Tanjiro and their friends aren't like Hashiras, you know. But we still took them out. Obviously, with the help of Hashiras. That man? You mean Michael Jackson of this world? Muzan? I, th I think we're in the villain there. Yo, can we get a meeting with the upper ranks? Hello? We don't get much of them, but whenever like the evil council meets, it's pretty epic. Three. Upper moon, baby. Three. There's six of them, right? Oh, there's free fall. Okay. Man, Muzan couldn't, like, summon us directly to where we're supposed to meet? Like, he has to move like this to get there? <laughs> you know, when the Akatsuki, you know, meet, they're all through holograms. They get immediately, like, summoned to where they're supposed to meet, but... <laughs> they made him do a drop like that. Hey, it's cool, right? It's it's cool, whatever. Kimetsu no Yaiba. Swordsmith's Village Arc. Let's go! Entertainment District was so hype. I hope this can also be also hype. Someone in there? Lord Akaza. Who's this slippery dude? Is that... Yeah. Uh, he's got tiny little hands. It's kind of it's kind of cute, but it's also disturbing. His eyes are mouth. Upper five. Another upper moon, baby. That's so disturbing. His eyes are hot. His ears are hands! What? Another one. Upper four, maybe? Upper four, Han Tengu. He's actually a Tengu. He's a bit of a coward. I'm sure it's just his quirk. 113. <laughs> He's afraid of like odd numbers? Two? Sakaza is three. Upper one. Who could this be? Oh, have we met them? I don't think so. I don't remember at least. Number two? He said, hold up a second. I'm just saying, I don't know. Who are you? Upper two. They just seem to be kind of good friends. I don't know. Actually, I don't think any of them are friends. That's some bullshit, I think. I think he wants him to die. <laughs> Doma. Hantengu. Doma. Akaza. I forgot the... Gyoko, right? This guy's pretty chill and casual. Yeah. I don't want to see, though. Oh. His arms disappeared. Do Make me. But he's a two. But he's a two. Can number three say that to two? Okay! Are we fighting? I want to see them fight. I actually want to see them fight. Come on. Show me some powers. I want to see their powers! Holy... Oh, regenerates immediately, but he has to punch his mouth off! Stronger. So can the rankings change based on their training or merits? Does Muzan determine that? And who is this girl? Is she just moderator of this meeting? Where's number one? Number one? Oh. Kokushibo. Why is his voice so epic? This sounds like a number one, all right. Show me his face, come on! Oh, 
Lord Muzan has arrived. Everybody, get on your knees. I'm getting so dizzy. What's going on? Just, just test two. Science. And Daki. <laughs> Daki, come on. <laughs> Yutaro's gone. Daki, that thought. I even forgot about it. Man, he was raising up Daki so much last season. I was so jealous. Daki was like on her knees for Muzan. Oh, man. I'm actually so jealous. Offer your life. Built his heel right back up, though. Your eyeballs? Filthy trash. You dare offer me such a lowly eyeballs? Because I expect nothing. <laughs> My dear upper moon, you're also useless. I never had any expectations. Fine, I'll do it myself. Could you imagine if Muzan actually goes out there, does it by himself? Uh, number two has a lot of confidence. I like his personality. He's so super casual with everybody, too. Oh, some, some L's for number two, I see. Kobuyashiki. Maybe this is an important character for the Swordsmith Village? <laughs> I can't get <laughs> this guy, man. I kind of like him. He's very goofy. Oh, yeah? Hmm, what's the news? Whoa! What? He was just in the little boss being cute. His head is cut off. I'm sure he'll be fine, right? They wouldn't kill him, right? Is, is my man gonna be okay? <laughs> oh, he's better than okay! <laughs> he's blushing! Dude, my man is having an orgasm while being his head cut off! Then go out there and do it yourself, man. Is there a reason why Muzan can't fight by himself? Is he like some kind of like... I, f I forget a lot of the details from the previous seasons. Gyoko and Hantengu, where are they going? Swordsmith Village? So it's gonna be a Gyoko and Hantengu. Two... Two uh, upper moons attacking Swordsmith Village. I wanted the other ones to go out, especially number one, but it's too early, right? I mean, I'm sure they're going to be saved until like the really later seasons in the story. It's so disturbing, but it's also fun and cute. He's still so horny from getting his head locked off. The secret. You're coming too? I thought it's only Hantengu and Gyoko. Tengu? My man is getting his head chopped off again. No, it's Akaza. Orders are absolute. Man, Akaza is such a dog. He's so loyal. What's that? What's that, Domo? Right back. Okay, no fighting between you guys. As he cuts his arm off! <laughs> Well, to be fair, to be fair, Akaza did cut his head off. You know, his hair really reminds you of Tanjiro's hair when it's longer. Is there some kind of connection here with this guy and Tanjiro? It's, it's just the hair, right? They're also not showing us his face. They really won't show us his face that much. Why are they hiding his face? Oh, dude! <laughs> dude! <laughs> Indirectly, you know, I've been here a lot shorter than him, but I'm already better, so I don't really mind, right? Yeah, I let you hit me, man. I like this guy. He's pretty funny. Oh, he just stirs the shit pot. Oh, because I'm too uptight, you know? This guy, we need to have one of these fun guys, too. <laughs> That he cut his head off again. Oh, that's a lot of eyes. Now, tattoo, tattoo, Tanjiro's star tattoo, sun breather. I don't know how to make the connections. Hair is kind of similar. Using the sword, some kind of connection to demon slayers. These two. Because has that kind of vengeance against him? 
Hangin kotor. <laughs> You'll need it. Good luck. I'm overthinking this, right? Doesn't number one seem to have hair that's similar to Tanjiro? The sun, you know, o only um specific like sun breathers, they have that like tattoo scar thing. I, I forget. If you could see his earrings, could did he have earrings? Fuck, I didn't see it. Bye bye. Such a sundere, man. Akasa is such a sundere. This guy is <laughs> disturbingly cute. I can't. I think it was just so terrified all the time. Bye, everybody. Nah, the arc would be too hard if you also went. So it's gonna be a Gyoku and Hantengo. Although I would love it if more of Moons like showed up, but it's too much for the boys. Biwa lady. <laughs> Wanna go on a date? <laughs> Yo, the Biwa lady. All right, we're back home. Yeah, kinda. To be honest, he is kind of friendly, and they're all pretty cold to him. Disciples? Lord. What? What are, who are his disciples? Huh. Who are they? Hair. Hair! Somebody that I hear! Tanjiro passed. Dad? Mom? Backstory. <laughs> no, that's Tanjiro. I'm, I'm confused. No, no, that's Tanjiro's dad, the one actually wearing the jacket. This guy is someone different, but also sun breather. I'm so confused. Sun breathing earrings. Isn't this the same point actor? So the number one moon is the same uh, is the same guy as him but somehow obviously the things have changed upper moon one it's the same scar but the upper moon also had a lower scar not just like top uh forehead bro how are you not special you're a sun breather you got them earrings and you're apparently the upper moon, number one. Oh. Have some past regrets. I guess he couldn't protect the one he loved a long time ago. Tanjiro. Is Tanjiro like reliving the memories of him? I think that's what was just happening. What is this? Some kind of past shit from like Attack on Titan? Eren just like reliving all the past and future memories? No, he's definitely up. He's definitely up there. Let's see this. What are you doing, dude? Hello. <laughs> What's up? Okay, good to see that everybody's doing okay. Netsuko. We still haven't seen Netsuko though. You know, everybody was in the hospital. It's like, everybody's okay, right? Netsuko really not gonna show up? Like, she's in the box right now, but not gonna... I, I don't know, gonna hello? What? It's super secret. It's super important. Oh, well, I'm just carrying this go. <laughs> you need to plug your nose too. It's a super secret location. You know, I was really thinking about this because the sword is the only way that we can beat demons. So I, I was like, why don't they just like cut off the supply and then demons there can't fight back? That's why the village is hidden. So, Gyoko, the, the other upper moon, that's why he decided, finally, the big brain play is, dude, why don't we just go wipe out the swordsmith? Why don't we just get rid of the swords? If we seize the production of swords, they can't fight us back. Isn't it that simple? Is it well protected, though? Like, it doesn't matter if it's well hidden, because they're going to attack this shit. I hope that the swordsmiths themselves are, like, they can actually fight, too, and they're not, like, defenseless little crafters. It's kind of small, actually, this village. <laughs> there she is! Oh, she heard that. Thank you. But there she... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Immediately with the fan service. What, what is she? The high shida of love? Something like that? Oh, dude. Her hair is just too good. It, it, bravo. Hello. The chief's mask is very... Cheeky. 
intensely looking up like, it wasn't me that did it. He's so tiny and kind of cute. <laughs> I am the most important. Bow your head. Make sure your head touches the ground. Is that good enough for you? His hands are very rough. Oh, thanks. Is that out of a dog food? Doesn't that look like dog food? Like, I don't know. Like a container? Oh. Interesting. We never used this logic. Actually, that's kind of true. Who was it that made the sword? That was so brittle that it broke. That That's what Tanjiro should go with. But he's too kind. That, I'm not sure, but he was kind of swinging his arm there. So this is how swords are forged. What property of these swords, when forged, does it let them, you know, slice off a demon? It's not just regular metal. Like, what's going on here? The hemorrhoids? Constipation? What do you mean? You go in the hot spring and suddenly you're not constipated and you shit yourself in the, in the hot spring? Ew! Pinker girl, right? Oh my god, just gigantic cannons. Do they know each other? Because this is like my first time seeing her. <laughs> They're not worried about her falling, it's just the tits. Please cover them up. I think her name is Mitsuri. Oh no. Who? Someone could ignore her? Who is the Sigma Giga Chad? I kind of want to meet him now. See, she is a Hashira. But so far, just because how, how, you know, she's cute, she's funny, she's acting like a little weakling right now. It's kind of hard to take her seriously, but I bet she's super strong. Man, I want to see her fight. <laughs> Who threw that? Huh? Maybe it's the guy that ignored Mitsuri. This guy. Am I supposed to remember? He's one of the dudes in the earlier. Holy shit! Because like he was in like the first season. And then have we ever had him afterwards? So he's finally gonna be incorporated into the story. Unless he unless he kind of showed up beforehand, but I don't remember him in any like really major arcs. Oh. Wind Hashira's brother? Related. Bit of a tsundere. It's okay, we, we've worked with Inosuke too before. <laughs> Bond in our nakedness. Nezuko! Where'd she come from? That's the first time we're seeing Nezuko today! Mits I only nibbled? Bruh, there's like 30 plates are eating more than Goku! Genya. Let's go. Let's go so cute. The wind hashira. Huh? The wind hashira said he has no brother. They're not on good terms. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's so cute. This little cute little. Hey, I just realized something. Have you guys seen the anime Kubo? Uh, Kubo won't leave me alone or something. Doesn't she sound like Kubo? <laughs> I don't think he'd enjoy the rice bowl. He's gonna say fuck off. No, I, uh, he's, he's gonna be like fuck off. <laughs> Yo, Netsuko has been shown until a couple minutes ago. They're just going all out with the Netsuko fan service. God damn, she's so cute. To save the world. Beat demons. Fall in love? I don't know. Maybe if I became a strong Hashira, then I could find a boyfriend? You don't have to join the Demon Slayer Corps and become a Hashira. Sure, but you're so strong though. Like, yeah, but like you're so strong. I, you're gonna have to find someone stronger than you. She wants a really strong boyfriend, so that's why she became a Hashira, but now her limited, her pool of candidates is so small. Hmm? 
kind of sad and way too real all of a sudden, but true. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so we beat an upper moon, you know? No one has ever done it before in a, in a hundred years. Maybe you should give us a chance. I bet we could become Hashiras too soon. I don't know, maybe. Yes, also Nezuko is a monster. Have you seen her transform? Holy shit. Yo, Nezuko versus Daki when she popped off. Oh, the way she curb stomped her without a foot? Would <laughs> she just let me win? I don't know about that. When will that happen though? It's too early. Or may- Oh, wait! Hmm? Maybe we have a chance. Maybe she's realizing we're pretty strong. Oh, what is she doing? <laughs> a secret weapon. Oh my god, the ASMR! Oh, oh, come back here, whisper in our ears again. A secret weapon. A secret. <laughs> Even Tanjiro couldn't keep that in. But a secret weapon? Hmm? Who's that? The other Hashira! This is supposed to be the youngest ever? I think he's hyped to be like, the moment he picked up a sword, he became a Hashira in like such a short amount of time. I think that's what uh, his introduction was in the previous season. Because they were like hyping up a bunch of Hashiras. The Mist Hashira. Two Hashiras. Two Hashiras and two Upper Moons coming its way. Ooh. Yoko and the Tengu. Han Tengu. Who is it? Isn't that upper one? Wait, 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 wait. That's the... No, that, that, that's the earrings. That's, that's the correct earrings. But isn't that the upper one same hairstyle? Is he living a different identity? Yeah, we do know him. Bro, that's like your direct... From your dreams! From your dreams! But does he have six eyes right now? Probably not. Obviously not. He's in his human form, right? I am so confused. So in the last season, it was like Tanjiro started doing a bunch of different breathing techniques. You know, he, he wasn't just water bending. He decided that he can sun breathe too. The sun breathers have that specific earring, right? It's a specific clan. This dude that we saw at the end there has the earring. But during the meeting, right, of the, of the upper moons, I'm not sure if he actually had those earrings, but clearly his hair is identical, right? His hair is the same. His voice acting is the same. So the upper moon is actually a sun breather? Well, how did that happen? We gotta get to see a flashback. I don't really know, but things are getting pretty interesting. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists on my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.